On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful Friday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So, please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So right you now my peeps, uh, to the name uh, Friday, the day when Mr. Smikey smiled upon some of the ones and ones them pocket. So whilst traversing in these streets and the spot news media continues to say safe travel upon the gravel continuously look out on the corner yeah, because what, the old dirty corner boy them always out there. Alerts, <laughs> yeah man may I tell you. So over there in the troubled, crime riddled, war torn East Kingston Police Division, oh they definitely na going good. Remember the Kingston Eastern Police Division closed out 2022 with a bang with a triple knockings and clappings claiming the life of three. And right now, them start off this new year with a bang. Also, two more end up lose them three pints. Wednesday, they are telling them, my peeps, the thing rough out of John Shop there. It seems as if we need to relocate Officer Yeman Pick, redeploy him out there in the East Kingston Police Division so he can go through and clean house as he may. Now over there in the community of Harborview, a section of Harborview known as Bayshore. Bayshore is a section that has always have its fair share of criminal elements that continues to rant and rage in that community, claiming the lives of many over these years. Now it is said that a Dan, a so-called Dan, who is among you, the regular members of the diaspora in the United States, send one of his criminal clowns, one of his goons, known as Gumzel, but popularly known in the criminal underworld as Dunceman. One of them type of man they will say, back high class, nah, no subject type of youth. <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you. Gumzel was in the company of one of his criminal accomplices known as Ramos. And it is said that they took the life of this man presently on your screen known as Ica. Not only did these old criminal elements took his life, but they did so in full view of the man's young children. What a traumatic experience for one to witness the loss of life of a parent. Those kids are definitely scarred for life. So right now on the spot news media did a little digging and found out that they came to extort Ica of monies and because Ica decides say nah take no talk the criminal elements they make gunshot back <laughs> yeah man may I tell you so these criminal elements definitely need to be caught so you the regular members of Chan Public out there in the Bayshore Park who don't know the old dirty kind of boy them call Gumzel or Dunceman as what them call him and him criminal counterpart with them call Ramos. Now the onus is on you people to give the officers the necessary information so that they may carry out their due diligence in getting these criminal elements off the streets. And as always, if you not trust the police them, link up on the spot news media or any like-minded vlogger out there give them the necessary information and definitely we will pass it on to the relevant authorities and still in the troubled war-torn crime-plagued kingston eastern 
police division. But this time a little bit closer to the Vauxhall High School, a place where them call Dunkirk. Now on your screen is a girl known as Kimberly. Yeah man, may I tell you, the man them deal with Kimberly a certain type of way. And when time you hear me say a certain type of way, you know so the man them deal with the situation. Grimy. Now Kimberly Jones presently on your screen. 31 years of age and affectionately called Little Miss. She's of a Mitchell Street address in Dunkirk. The man them roll up on her as she step out of the shop and a 18 piece them get the one woman. A way Kimberly Jones, Little Miss, could a really do these criminal elements for them deal with her in such a manner. Now, I'm counting on you, the regular members of Chan Public, who witnessed this brutal onslaught upon this female character. Please give the Kingston Eastern Police the necessary information to carry out due diligence and get rid of these criminal elements of the streets. It is not yet ascertained the reason as to why these criminal elements would have deal with Kimberly Jones in such a fashion. But no matter what it was that she did, forget a woman, 18 piece, channel me I tell my peeps, on a deal with the thing, grimy, yeah man. So watch this now my peeps, over there in the parish of St. Mary, Around on the Basco Bell stretch of things they saw. On your screen is two American nationals. At the time of their passing, they were identified as 48-year-old Randy Henzel and 53-year-old Harold Nicholas. These two men were brutally and gruesomely gunned down by a criminal element and a man said to be his accomplice. Now, this man presently on your screen, identified as 25-year-old at the time, Dwight Henry, was the main suspect in that brutal loss of life of the two American nationals. His alleged criminal accomplice was named by the police as Andre Thomas. He's also of Port Maria in St. Mary. Both men were charged with the 2016 slaying of Hensel, age 53, and Harold Nicholas. Now, it is said that the missionaries were found in bushes in Albion Mountain in St. Mary on Saturday, April 30, 2016 and Sunday, May 1, 2016 respectively. Now, after more than six years of delay, a United States family is hoping to get justice for their loved ones. Now, these two men were missionaries on a mission to help us, the regular members of Chan Public in St. Mary. Poor I may I tell you. And these dirty criminal elements had to go ahead and take their lives. Now the trial is underway in the Home Circuit Court, downtown Kingston, where the prime suspect into that brutal slaying, Dwight Henry, had pleaded guilty. Now this was disclosed in the courts Thursday. Now on the spot news media was also informed that his co-accused, Andre Thomas, who was jointly charged and is awaiting trial as opted to go the route of trial. He stated that he will not be pleading guilty and he wants his case to be tried before the judge and the juror. The matter was subsequently set by the judge for January 19th. Now over there in the western section of Jamaica, we are talking about the parish of St. James, the troubled, war-torn, crime-riddled parish capital of Moby came to light again after 11 persons were detained 
and two guns found as well as ammunition. All of that was seized during a joint police military operation in St. James. Now the police has not yet released any details surrounding the find of this submachine gun and also this Glock pistol presently on your screen. Now as I can see the submachine gun there a long time them have that you know. From Wappy slap with Philip. Yeah, man, had a same machine there. Wappy did use and name Philip food back in the days. And this fat matic here, this Glock 17. Yeah, yeah man, may I tell you. But if you notice something, there is an M16 magazine presently on your screen. So, right now, squaddy. The digging, the searching, all of that not done yet. We don't need to send for the Caribbean search team because there has to be a rifle for that magazine to be fitted to. So we definitely need to take that one off the streets. And of course, the squad of them get a few 9 buying seemingly. Yeah, man, so another decent spot of work again by the squad of them. Yeah, man. Now my peeps, more want to know if you listen to this and listen to that one here really good. More time here some things go on in the courthouse there you know. I'm really have to sit back and wonder if something can go so. Because an 18 year old man who was charged after he allegedly attempted to steal a cell phone is accusing a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force for harassing and trying to sink the thief them, what a brother, beer face. Continue for listen now, my peeps. The man who has since been identified by the police as Kevin Russell made his remarks on Tuesday in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court when he was hauled before senior parish judge Lorian Cole Montague. The court was told that he attempted to swipe a woman's cell phone in downtown Kingston on Monday, immediately after he was brought into the dock to answer to the charges of simple lies. Russell stated that me can't believe our guan. You know, say I hungry, me hungry. And ma'am, Miss Judge, I am very, very guilty and me sorry. He also added that he was arrested by the police and the police then give him some bitch lick. Yeah, man, may I tell you? Kevin Russell, who revealed that he was an orphan and used to live at the Maxfield Park Children's Home in St. Andrew. He also stated that he now lives in the Coronation Market downtown and pushes handcarts for a living. He also noted that the woman who he took the phone from was not interested in taking him to court, but the police sergeant who arrested him insisted that he be charged. He also stated, and I quote, The police officer ever was sink the thief them. This police officer is definitely not a man who like criminals and the entire court erupted in laughter. No, however, the police officer stated that he heard when a woman was screaming, thief, thief, which propelled him into action and he gave chase to Russell, whom was trying to evade the woman. But unfortunately for the phone thief, Kevin Russell, he was shortly after that arrested and charged by the said officer. He is to return to court on February 27th for sentencing. No, my peeps, boy, I tell you, sometimes you have to take bad things, make joke. The man accused squaddy say, yo, squaddy a pressure a thief them too much downtown. Then the squaddy not get paid for do that, my brother. Boy, I tell you, fully done. Yeah, man, back of class, now, no subject type of thing. So anyway, me hear the artist, Bugle, Put out a new song that uh, depict fully bright. Yeah, man, the man they are denounced fully dance and I try to uplift people getting fully bright. So I hope that the ones and ones them tuning into on the spot news media and listening to the voice right now take on to bugle new song and leg of the fully dance culture and take on the fully bright culture. Yeah, man, may I tell you, man, I have to learn how to read and write. 
Yeah, man. So anyway, a word to the wise is definitely sufficient. So my peeps, continue to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man. <laughs>